before you can call them a man and how many seeds must the white dove sand before she sleeps in sand and how many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned Actually, that song, that the, idea, the idea of that song was the inspira one of the inspirations for Liberty. <laughs> because I, I played at this uh, Students for Liberty convention in, uh, at, um, in Philadelphia, Drexel. Uh. And this man came up to me and he said, you know, I really love your Pendulum song. I think it's great. But the best protest songs of the 60s were the ones that asked questions. Mm -hmm. You know? And you should think about writing a song that asks questions. I, and, and immediately what came to mind was Blown in the Wind. Because it's just full of questions. It's just a song full of questions and they're all self-evident. You know? And that, that was really like part of the inspiration for Liberty. Was asking the questions. Why do we sit down when all should be standing? And why do we back down at the critical moment? Like running away from the waves of the ocean We head for the hills with the high tide approaching The sand slips away from the castle When it's time to stand upright Why do we falter like placing our freedom On a sacrificial altar We hold tight to our fears and defend our oppressors we fight for their lives and become the transgressors As pacifists transform to violent aggressors oh. But I'm only a stranger here I'm a long, long way from my home And they say I can't change all the things I find strange but what can one man do alone? What can one man do alone? So, lots of questions. Mm. 
let people answer the questions for themselves. Yeah. You make the questions so evident that they don't you don't need to answer them because the answers are the answer is part of the question. The answer is freedom. Freedom's the answer. What is the question? <laughs> Hell yeah. Ernie Hancock. I love Ernie.